going on everybody? It's your girl, Sneaker Mom. And today I'm gonna be reviewing my top five Joy One Low OGs of the year. First of all, I wanna express my top five. Everybody had their own opinion. These are mine, so this is what we're gonna roll with. First of all, before I start, I do wanna say that as we all know, Travis Lowe's are number one pretty much on everybody's list. I didn't have those, so of course they're not gonna be on my list. So when I tell you my top five, don't write, what about the Travis Lowe's? Of course, yeah, those will be my top picks, but I don't have them, so we're gonna roll with what I do have. And let's go ahead and get it started off with number five. My number five pick, my fifth pick of the year, I'm gonna start off with the Jordan One Low Mystic Navy Women's. Of course, we all seen these. Everyone had their different opinions about them, but to me, these were a must cop for me for the Jordan 1 Lows of the year. These right here. It was just something about this colorway that I like. They remind me of the uh, Mariner Blue high top um, uh, Jordan 1 highs. Uh, reminded me of those a lot. I had those, but once I got these, I actually traded those just because I felt like I didn't need both of these color blues in my collection. So I kept these, and I'm very happy that I did because I... I just like this colorway. It's a very clean colorway. It was all black and it's like mystic navy color. Pretty much very wearable. You can pretty much wear it with a lot of different things. And plus Jordan 1 Lowe's to me are very, very comfortable. So these right here were my number five pick of the mystic navies. Like I said, overall, very comfortable shoe. And as we all know, I mean, Jordan 1 Lowe's do go true to size. So if you don't have these and you're looking for these, pricing is not high at all. If you look in the aftermarket, I'm quite sure you can probably get these under 200 bucks, probably under 150 bucks if you go for these. So, very nice shoe, very clean, but this is my fifth pick, the Jordan 1 Low Mystic Navies. Let's get those out of the way. All right, let's go ahead to number four. My fourth pick, uh, kind of hard because I have a lot of different, my five, top five are all good to me, but for my fourth pick, I'm gonna have to go with the Jordan 1 Low Smoke Gray. EXT. Of course, I wasn't able to get my size in these because Nike only had them in men's sizes, so I was able to get these for the Mister. But this would be my full pick if I did have them in my size. Of course, I know they have my size in Goat and on um, StockX. But to me, like I have said before, if they don't drop on Nike, I feel fishy getting them on GOAT or stock eggs in my size because it's like why didn't Nike have them on there in the first place so that's what I that's the way I feel about it but overall these right here my full pick the Jordan 1 low EX dark gray and just to me these which is a very nice shoe I love the way they had the different little EVA I mean foam uh foam coming on the outside of the shoe it just was different I love the materials it was like a uh kind of like a I can't even think of the name of it but it was just a nylon there we go nylon type material and to me, me these was just a very clean shoe as we all know they came with these extra laces right here and they look very nice with these cream laces in it but as we can see last time he wore me he had the black laces in but overall these were a very clean shoe I like them wish they came my size on Nike but they didn't and so this is my four pick the Jordan 1 low EXT dark gray all right, getting those out of the way. We're getting down to my top three. Number three, man, man, man. I'm going to have to go right the women's Jordan 1 Low Bleach Coral. Shoe, very nice summer shoe, spring shoe. I still wear mine in the winter. I just like these overall. They were very clean. Kind of messed mine up, taking the kids to... uh. <laughs> Uh, white water. I mean, you know, in Atlanta and uh, got water all on them. It's all good. It's a little messed up on the top of the toe. But overall, these were a very clean shoe and um, I like them. I love the colorway. The bleach coral and the black and the white. They were very nice. I know we all have, they didn't have the hides in these also. Those are nice also. But these, to me, were the best out of the two. These were the lows and this was my number three pick of the year. The Jordan 1 Low Bleach Coral. All right, let's wind it down to the top two. My top two, it wasn't very hard for me to go with these two right here because these were like a must-have for me. So I'm going to go ahead and go with my number two pick, and that is going to be the Women's Jordan 1 Low Powder Blue. Bang. 
these right here, these have to be a, the top sleeper of the year. I didn't understand why nobody went for these or either they made so many pairs, but it's like they restock every day on Nike and I just don't understand how they're still sitting. This colorway was so nice and clean to me. I mean, you got your black and white, then you got that powder baby blue right here. Like you couldn't go wrong with these. I love this colorway, very nice. As you can see, I done got my wear out of them. I'm continuing to wear them because I like them. I should have actually got a, I should have actually doubled up on these because I done wore them a, 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 quite a few times, but they're very nice. And as we all know, they did come with extra laces, the extra powder blue laces. And overall, to me, very clean shoe. My number two pick, a 2022 Jordan 1 Low Women's Powder Blue. Y'all let me know what y'all think. You. Yes. All right. Here we go. We're going to wind it on down. Don't want to drag out the video. As we all know, everyone been posting the videos. They're going to be start posting the top tens of the year, but I want to break mine down. So that's why I broke mine down with the Jordan 1 Lowe's for it first. I'm going to break it down from the Air Maxes, then I'm going to go to the New Balances and so on from there because I didn't want to just combine them all at once. I want to do them separately. So let's go ahead and get into the number one pick. Unfortunately, this pick right here, I couldn't get in my size either, but I was able to get it for the mister. And this has to be the Jordan 1 of the year. Besides, besides getting Travis's, these right here has to be like on top of your list. The Jordan 1 Low Voodoo Zion. Of them all like Zion did his thing on these with Jordan brand all the different uh, materials you got your your leathers your vinyl your did I say vinyl not your vinyl but you got your leathers and you got your suede I mean every I did actually look like kind of a vinyl type material but overall it was so many different clean materials going on with these these rope laces they did come with a extra pair of gray laces I don't have those in here but overall this shoe was just so clean and I can't say it was a sleeper because I know a lot of people went for them, but I think it was like actually very limited. So these right here, these have to be the number one Jordan 1 low of the year. The Zion's Voodoo. I mean, y'all let me know what y'all thinking. What would you put in your top five uh, Jordan 1 lows of the year? OG lows of the year. I know we have a bunch of uh, just Jordan 1 lows that's uh, not the OGs, but these right here are my OG pair. So... Y'all let me know down in the comments below what y'all think about my lineup for my top five of the 2022. Let me know what's your lineup for the 2022. If you uh, even like lows, I know a lot of people might not even like lows. They prefer the highs. Me, I prefer the uh, lows over the highs. But overall, this has to be my number one pick. But y'all just let me know down in the comments below what y'all think about my top five. And that's pretty much all I got for y'all today. So if you're new to watching my channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you can know when I post all my videos. Follow me on Instagram at sneakermom1721. And until the next time, it's your girl, Sneaker Mom. Peace.